figure skater Anna Shcherbakova answered a question about a possible return to competition. Beijing 2022 Olympic champion missed last season. Honestly, I don't like talking about something imperfect. If this happens, it will not be missed, everyone will know about it, there will be something to discuss. Well I would not like to comment and discuss it in any way. At present the knee does not disturb. Now I am working in Novogorsk on restoring my physical form. Not so long ago there was an International Olympic Day. Year and a half later, what are your emotions from the Beijing Games? Do you return to that Olympic Day? How often do you get a medal? Do you see where you keep it? I keep it at home, on a shelf, it lies beautifully. In general, I don't get it, only if they ask for some kind of shooting. Namely, memories, of course, this is one of the most important events in my life, definitely the most important in my sports career, so, of course, I often remember, now only with positive emotions. Is there any competition that you often review? I have a rather banal list of competitions that are my favorites. I can't say that I often sit down and review my skates, but if there is such a mood, then these are skates from three victorious Russian championships, the Olympics. The World Cup was not named. Because I don't watch it, haha. Of course, I watched it a couple of times, but with less enthusiasm. Why? If I made any mistakes at the box office, then after the competition, I will review the box office a million times, in order to consider everything in detail. But in general, I want to remember positive emotions more, and my mistakes do not bring such emotions, so I don't like to look at them. And when the free program started with a full, there was no enthusiasm after watching it. That is, I'm still proud of this rental. I perfectly understand in my head that to get together after the full, to finish everything, to fight for the rental, I am still proud that I made the same Lutz Ritberger the last element. In principle, I am proud of the rental, but I can't say that I often review it at the same time. There are more emotions from victory. I sometimes come across how people make cuts with that moment. There was the most sincere reaction to the victory, I am reviewing it with pleasure. You recently had a master class in France. Who invited and how did it go? I was invited by Florent Demodio. We met him a couple of years ago. Naturally, I've been following him for a long time. I watched his last European Championship live I cried at the screen, it was very touching. I followed him like a skater since childhood, when I was very young, and I didn't have any special prospects. We were subscribed to each other in social networks, he congratulated me on some competitions. For me, of course, this is always a very indescribable feeling this is an athlete that you followed in childhood, and who seemed inaccessible to you. Then I began to participate in major competitions, and many skaters, whom I followed as a child, wrote to me, supported and congratulated me. It's all very empowering. The first reaction is that you are surprised that they know you. In the beginning, the conversation was like this. A couple of years ago we met in person, it was very interesting for us to communicate together, we found a common language and a lot of topics for conversation. One of them, by the way, is Novogorsk, where Florin trained a lot. All this year, Florin very often called me to his place, saying, It would be great if you had the opportunity to come to the academy. That is, it is rather a friendly visit than some kind of official master class. Finally, it became possible to combine a family trip and visit Florin at the same time. I arrived, I spent a very cool couple of days there. I came to them for training, at first I just watched how it all happened. It's also a great experience for me to see how they train. I saw a lot of interesting things. Then she went out on the ice. At first I was a little shy, Florent himself asked me. What do you think about this and this? Discussed with him, told his vision. It often happened that I looked at someone and didn't even say comments, but simply shared my experience. I like this, you can do it like this here. And Florent is like, that's it. Wait, hold on. He calls the skater and says. Now tell him the same thing. She repeated the same. He says. That's how many times I told you. Now on you will say, you will understand everything right away. There were situations when I would say something and Florent said. I told her this ten times, and you said it and immediately corrected it. Probably just a fresh look. I attended training sessions and shared my experience. At the end, there was something like a press conference, when all the athletes asked me questions, and we just talked to them. As a result, it was more like not a press conference, but a normal communication. We sat for several hours, the guys had a lot of completely different questions. I just shared my opinion, experience, discuss. 
Did you ask something unexpected? No, for skaters such ordinary things. There were questions about the routine, about preparing for the competition, many were interested to know. In general, we discussed our urgent problems of figure skaters. Is the training process different in France and Russia? I cannot say that I have something to compare with. In the Russian school, I was only within the walls of Kristalny, so I can compare with the approach of our coaches. Of course, there are differences, but I really like the way Florent relates to work. He does not put pressure on athletes, but by his own example, he shows with what dedication one must try. I think with his results he shows what can be achieved. This year you have a new schedule, a lot of public events. Was it difficult to readjust? Already used to it. I think it's cool when there is a lot of work, when you are always busy with something. It's more difficult for me to find a place when there is nothing to do, and when you are constantly doing something, then I'm more comfortable. Can it be compared in terms of tension with a difficult competitive schedule? Slightly different loads. Naturally, physically you get more tired when preparing for a competition, when you train from morning to night, and there is no time for anything else. But emotionally and mentally, you get more tired when you try to combine everything at once. Still, I get more tired from such media work, and from training, if they are good, I rather recharge. It happens to me that I go from some event to a workout, tired, squeeze out like a lemon, even a word is hard to say. Because I am generally an introvert and often give energy during communication. And now you go to training without strength, everything starts to work out for you, and as a result, I leave training, I have a lot of strength, I am charged. I think. Where do I get so much strength from? In theory, I should have been tired, but on the contrary, I was charged. Said the skater.